Hello, Storytellers. Storytelling right. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a little rant here. Um, got to get into Four Lords RPGs. Like, we got to do it. I'm going to. This little video is all about that. And I'm working on my shelves there. <laughs> IKEA, man. Uh, I'm doing woodworking, so I'm going, to, I'm going to fix these up, make them a little bit, adjust them and stuff. But it's going to take me a little bit to do it. But I got work to do. I can do this video. So let me do this real quick. Uh, I'm working on the Christian space, man. I got to finish that. So yeah, there's. It's getting, man. We are, I mean, I do, I'm basically doing not to be because I just went through all the mall. I'm like, dang, these are all freaking evil. Um, so let me just do one here. So Dawkins is saying we, and please go to not to be and check all these out. But Dawkins is saying, you know, he's a cultural Christian. He wants Christianity. He doesn't like that Islam. There's now 6,000 new mosques being built in Europe right now. Um, and Christianity is dying out. The churches are. And he did it. I mean, this is what you want, atheists. You want to get rid of Christianity, not Islam, Christianity. What, what do you think is going to happen? The Bible says what's going to happen. Even in the Old Testament, God says, if you're going to uh, ignore me, I will turn my back on you and evil will, will come in. Evil will come. And um, um, that's what's happening. You know, we're not planning churches. We're not, mission, we're not evangelists anymore. Um, we're we're bowing to the pagans and the, and the Dawkins and, and Dawkins is like, what's happening? What's happening? Well, what do you think is going to happen? I can, you know, Islam is evil. That's my Christian opinion of it now. And, and no love lost. Islam believes that I am evil. So there you go. Choose your side, you know? Um, so cultural Christianity, it cannot be, there cannot be cultural Christianity if you don't have Christians, if you don't have churches, um, so yeah, let me just go through some more here. Easter. So what do we have here? We have all the leaders, uh, all the Democrats, and then of course all the uh, globalists saying transgender day of visibility. And this is the guy that started transgender day of visibility. Uh, a white man, a white man who they want to get rid of has now taken on a new deception, a new costume to, to manipulate and control. Um, they're all, you know, happy transgender day. This is for Christmas. I mean, Christmas, Easter. For Easter, Resurrection Day, um, they're they're celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility. They're replacing Christianity with this paganism. This is paganism, by the way. And I just read in a, in an atheist book a talk uh, called Communion. I'm reading. It's he's going through. He like Dawkins is like, oh, I want Christianity back. That's basically what his book is saying. He's he's, he's you know. But he said in there that um, the Roman general who went through uh, one of the towns, this is in like 300 AD or 200 AD, whatever. But he said like he was miffed because the, the temples were all a bunch of the, the, the priests there, the pagan priests were all a bunch of drunkards, women. They, ch they changed into women. They were, they were making themselves look like women and going to the bars. That's all they did. Whereas the Christians were doing charity, helping people and you know, they were exploding, but the temples were all in dis disarray. So he like wrote a letter telling them, you got to be charitable. You got to be help people. Well, that's never going to happen. They're going to turn into drag queens, which is what they did in 200 AD. Nothing new under the sun. Um, so we got uh, Apple. Uh, we got, you know, we got computer games. Uh, John Fetterman, of course, HHS. Uh, down here was one interesting, uh, or oh, he was up here, you know, California dudes. Uh, so I'm in California. My, 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 I have no vote here. I don't, I don't believe, uh, Westminster, which is like a big source of Christianity, even reformed. It says here in this article, which I appreciate their information here, actually, which kind of relates to our games. And we don't even know, see, I didn't even know this, a major Christian document in 1646, Westminster confession of faith. Is one of the most important Christian Christendoms uh, providing theological guidance during the tumultuous English Civil War. Um, reform statement of faith for Reformed Christian believers. So it's stuff like this where you and I need to get off of Marvel and Star Wars and D and D fandom and Wikipedia's, and we need to start making the Dark Ages RBG, where you play a Christians in church history, building churches and evangelizing. Um, and then, and then learning about this kind of stuff, learning about, about church history. Cause it's really exciting and amazing. And we don't know this. And since we don't know this, we don't know how to like, um, evangelize. So what I'm saying is if you guys start a dark ages campaign, you GMs out there, 
guess what? You're going to pick a period in history that you can pick, you know, and you're going to create campaigns uh, based on that area and, and what kind of happened in that area. And, you know, get and make it, keep it simple and, and vague. That's fine. Um, but look at things. Look for things, you know. Let, oh, the extensive list of historic churches. Wow. Look at this, man. Oof. You know, you could build a, a story around these different churches and what in their histories, and, and I know each one of them has such history, right? And I'm not, I'm not against the Catholic stuff either. I, I, I get it. We had a huge, horrible uh, rift and struggle there um, to to release, basically, to release the Bible to the world, um, not and not have one church hold on to it. But whatever, I, I, I don't care. I, it's way better, you know. And now look at us; we're totally getting along fine. We're, we're our worst the contention is, um, you know, debating or whatever. A manhunt underway in New Zealand after three men point o- paint over rainbow crosswalk. So we've got people. So they're like, even the, the even, wasn't she the prime minister or was, or the president? I don't know what, who, whatever. But um, central MP and green, oh, okay, green leader Chloe Swarbrick called it sad and bizarre. She wants to you know, hunt down these men that are, that painted over the, um, and that's hilarious, um, painted over the thing, the things. Because this is a, this is a political statement telling making us all conform to a, a way of thinking, a political, this is political and religious. It's like Islam, same thing. Islam and LGBTQT woke are the same thing. Okay. They have different, they make it look different, but they're the same thing. Tyranny and mind control. That's all they are. In Christianity, I cannot force you to believe in Jesus Christ, but they can in Islam and in LGBTQs, uh, the woke, they can force you to believe in their, right. I cannot force you to now the, the, if you read the New Testament, the only force that we have is a New Testament is uh, kick you out of our church. That's it. That's that's the, the 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 main force that we have as a Christians. Now I know you're all like, oh, but Christians have oppressed people in the world. Well, once you know, if we get in a majority in, a, in an area, we're gonna we're gonna ask for a certain level of uh, morality, of standard. You know, with our children, with the families, and with and with with the society. Yes, I, I understand that. But what we cannot do is make is force you to believe in Jesus Christ as your savior. So you can be a cultural Christian in our world. And we Christians have to accept you that way. We just don't have to accept you in our church, but you, you know, we can't let you steal. We can't let you murder babies. We can't let you sexualize children. Um, and I understand there's the sodomy laws, which were oppressive to gay people back in the day. I get that. Uh, that's again, uh, an issue that we have to decide. And I'm, you know, I'm, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for or against at the moment, but, um, and like if I had all the power of a Christians in the world and, you know, to, 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 to arrest, say, let's say we had a full on Christian culture and we, we are arresting homosexuals. Would I do that? Um, I don't know. I, I maybe, yeah, I don't know. 18 and over. I don't know. I'd have to, you know, I don't know. I would, I, it would, it, it would be a legislative thing we have to figure out, to be honest. And I'd probably just leave it up to people who were, who were doing it. They were Christian. Would they do it? Would they not do it? I don't know. We had it before. Um, I, I know we did. We had sodomy laws before that, that stopped. Uh, and I'm not for or against it. I have to research more on it. But look at today. We're being forced to butcher children. So I don't, you know. Um, what else? So here they are. Uh, here, this one. They, um, uh, in a Catholic church, they, oh, is there more? Yeah. They, they, they interviewed on Easter in a Catholic church, the Muslims to free Palestine. Um, so yeah, they don't care. So people, it's time to wake up. And I'm, I'm obviously my, my, uh, ministry or thing is in the RPG culture. So if you're a Christian and I'm, this is for Christians, there's not, I'm not forcing any of you non-Christians to do this. If you're LGBTQT in the RPG culture, have at it. You get 12,786 games out there to play. But if you're a Christian professing Christian, it's time. That's my point. It's time to be a Christian and to get, uh, gather, corral, call clarion call other christians uh together and start our own rpg culture and i have a game system to do it for but you can certainly uh i would not recommend like taking DD or any of the others right because they're just gonna try to force you blah 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 i would i would recommend you f- either homebrewing or creating your own but again the thing the problem is is if we start taking those their other games and just sort of homebrewing our own it, it still leaves us um attached to them mine i'm going to you know open it up for christians and, and here's the funny thing oh what if someone takes your game rules and and makes it pagan or not christian i'm like well then join the other ten thousand games out there big deal so i don't even care if someone steals my game idea which is not even that original you know, it's not amazingly original or anything 
Um, and then they go off and do something else, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know, so what, but if you steal my idea and you, and you stay with the Christian faith, Oh, that makes two of us then perfect. You know, it's like, so fine. Uh, so feel free to take my game, figure out what you can do with it. Uh, make your own ministry. If you'd like to support or give me credit, that would be, I'd appreciate that. And I, cause I'm working on it, trying to work on it full time. Uh, I'm working on it. I am working on full time. I don't, you know, we'll see how long I can go, but, um, um, you know, lose, I'm, and I'm losing money, I guess. Like maybe I should go work at Chipotle and make more money than I am doing this. That's for sure. Especially here in LA. Of course, you're spending more how freaking expensive everything is. But anyway, I'm working as much as I can on this. And um, the world, the, our government, our the society at large is telling us uh, to shut up, go along, get along in the RPG culture, in the computer game culture. Y'all, you're all seeing it. I'm watching all the YouTube videos on the, on the, whatever the new gamer gate thing going on in, in the, in the, in the video game culture. That's huge in the RPG culture. And you as a Christian man need to stop supporting them. Stop playing D and D stop playing Pathfinder. Stop doing, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I don't hate them, but they hate us. And they're got, they're promoting transgender day on Easter on our day where the Christ has risen, the historical day of when Christ has risen and proven to us all, they are what are you doing, Christians? So, get my game. The Dark Ages uh, game rulebook is free. I do got to add one more fix to it, but it's play. It's fully playable. Um, it's just more of a clarification than anything. But I got to do that. <laughs> See, I got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's just one guy, um, and I'm working on the Christmas Space one right now, which is the Kickstarter, and I'm I'm almost done. I have got a couple pages left to do for the rules, and then I'm doing the campaign. Anyway, um, get a Christian Christian. I'm going to do another video today. I'm actually going to do two more videos today. One on the game itself. I just, I went through all this and it's like, man, you know, all the Babylon, not the B stuff. And it's just article after article about attacking our Christianity, our faith. It's, it's fading in Europe. It's fading here in America. And my little corner of this is that we in the, in the RPG culture have allowed it to fade our Christian, our Christian faith to fade because we want to, you know, be quiet about it and go along, get along. And yet they're pushing their entire woke ideology on us in the game in the game it's pagan every freaking thing you do in the game is pagan every mechanic and i am showing you that no we can have a mechanic that is christianity for sure anyway all right i'm gonna do that video next i, I, I gotta do that all right in the game of life roll holy dice because they're out to get us <laughs>